Yo! Video games. I kind of felt that with um, uh, Dragon Ball too, like Dragon Ball uh, Fighters. Yeah. Like it was just naturally as soon as I turn start the game. Loud AM. Let's go. Uh, you still have the arcade. I do. You still have the arcade cabinet. I do. Now I throw the novelty. Yeah. You know what it is? It's like a fish tank. Like a fish tank. Yeah. Conversation starter. Conversation starter. It's a thing that's like. I'm glad I have it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know, it's so that's what it is. Like, it's like a. It's just like a nice thing that you have, right? You have a fish tank and you look at it and you're like, man, I'm, I'm glad I have it. So a little, little tidbit about this game. This is Simmons' favorite fighting game of all time. This is a. There's a good chance that they they could bring a, a CBS3, right? Oh, it's locked because we have the lock. CBS3? Yeah. Well, Capcom and SNK seem to be pretty funny, buddy. Yeah, they're good right now. That could happen in the future. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this is definitely this Soul Calibur one. This game. And my like, favorite Probably Smash Ultimate. Like my favorite fight. I mean, this has a Power Stone reference. So. Yeah. 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 Chat, best fighting game of all time. Go! Look at it. Soul Calibur 2. You decide! Soul Calibur 2. They said take a tag too, that's crazy. I mean, tag two is a is, is a feast for Tekken fans, is it not? Or is it just too similar to eight? Yeah, I, mean, I, said, I thought a lot of people hated two actually. Yeah, because it's too similar to uh yeah, uh, Tekken 6, right? You know what that there's a lot of different opinions right now, chat. Very, very uh very mixed. There's a lot of fighting games. True, but I mean uh, usually the, the best one would be some animals. Or close to Sananus. That can be Sananus for sure. I mean, Sananus is a good fighting game. Man, Tekken 6. Back. Holy hell! My Holy brain. hell! Your brain. Man, I... I, I know there's a lot of different opinions, but I do not... I, I do not. I don't. I don't allow Smash to be in that category. I'm sorry. It doesn't work. Yeah, same. Sorry. I know some of you are like, no, it's been fighting games. And no, dude, it's sorry. I, I just. I think the reasons for not is just stupid. It's like, whatever. It's a fighting game. You fight characters. It's a platformer. It's a platformer. It's a brawler. For different types. Same way Steve gets, oh, or not, I mean, the same way um, Marvel vs. Capcom is different from Street Fighters, you know? Yeah, both fighting games. Yeah. Me, me. But then that's the same thing as um, Urban Rain or Power Stone. You know, those are fighting games. Sure. Why, why wouldn't it be? No, those are arena fighters, bro. Fighting. No, I'm fighting. Style. Definitely not. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, Hell yeah, you did. It's a recovery frame. Yeah, that's a uh, punish. Favorite MK, MK9. Hands down. It's really tough between MK9. Honestly, and MK9. just say, oh, especially the fighting. This sounds, this sounds gatekeepy to me. No, not at all. Uh, it's its own thing. Ugh. Oh. It's like, what am I gatekeeping? All of the games yeah, that are- Yeah, it's not a real fighting game. You can't consider it a fighting game. It can't be part of my clubhouse. Not at all. It's its own thing. I mean, it's its own style of fighting game. It's a fighting game. Well, here. Tell that to the uh, 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 tell that to the people who created it. Who do not want it to be a fighting game. 
Ugh. We literally said it's, it's a party game. For it to be a fighting game, you have to turn off and you have to do all this shit. Yeah, like for you a fighting change game, it up. I don't have to change anything. I just play the game like this. Nah, but just... no, 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 no. For Smash players, you have to play like this. You have to play three stocks. You can only play 1v1. Yep. You have to change so much shit for it to, to be make a, a fighting, fighting game. game. Yeah, that's, that's the turn team being being, being gatekeepy. Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Trying to turn it into they're, a fighting game, but it's the, not they're the for king, They're the kings of that shit. Sure. So that means they're like, intending to make it into yeah. something that it's not. So that the means game like, oh, you know, to play this, okay, we have to play this game, but we have to turn off all the moves, and there's no ratio system, and then like they're like, well, what the fuck, bro? Are you what? Yeah, well, that's why we no, don't, it's that's not. Why we don't do that. You are literally taking the game the way it's made to be, and just making your own rules or some shit like that. To make it a fighting game. To make it a fighting game. It's not a fighting game. Not to make it a fighting game, so they can have their pure balance turning or whatever, because they want to take all the randomness out of it. Yeah, it's an arena fighter, it's a brawler, it's a it's a party game. It's like, oh, like, hey, the, you know, like Mario Kart. Oh, you know, take out Mario Kart because take out all the items, take out all the stuff, and then just make it oh, about... I, see, then thinking, it's like, I agree with you 100% on yeah. this fucking thing, Okay. but it's like, it's still a fighting game at the end of the day. Mm. Like, I is, it's a, pla I would call it, yeah, it's a fighting game. You know what, it's, it's as much as a fighting game as uh, Sifu is a fighting game, which is why it made it to the category of fighting <laughs> games, I want you to buy. So there you go. Sifu's fucking single player. There you go. It's hey. not even a versus Hey, game. it made it into fighting games, so sure, you know what? I guess by that definition. There you go. Because if I don't add in the fighting games, then I'm gatekeeping. So, Sifu is a fighting game. There you, go. you are You are massively kind of underselling. I don't yeah. know, man. I mean, it made it to the fighting game category. Sure, so. and on that award show. But. <laughs> it's an award show. They know more than we do. It's an award show. I guess so. But. <laughs> I mean, shit, if anything else, you're gatekeeping. So. I mean, multiverses won. You're right. Um, like that the, that other year. Well, at least multiverses is set up, right? Yeah, right? Multiverses, I don't have to go... When I play multiverses, I don't have to go into options and make it the way, you know... You don't have to do that for Smash. That's just how those stinky players decided it was going to be this way. They stinky decided players. because this... Yeah. <laughs> they decided that. That is not like a mandated directive. If you've ever, ever seen how Nintendo has ever run a tournament, they turn all that shit on. Yes, that's the way it should be. All the items and shit? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I like stinky players. <laughs> Stupid stinky players. <laughs> Stupid sexy players. That's platform. a platform fighter, but it's a fighting game. At the end of the day, there's like RPGs. Some are strategy well, RPGs, thing. some are turn based. People were saying, what's wrong with it being a platform fighter? Just leave it up. It is a platform Here's the thing fighter. some people were saying, like, hey, you know what? Uh, you know, for the streamer awards, we have best fighting game streamer, and then we have the best Smash streamer. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not trying to be some gatekeeper or whatever, or some hater. I think. I think. I think. I'm I think like, Smash oh, yeah. should be separate. Absolutely. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna post? Have everybody try to do it next year. Uh, people nominate the categories, which is how you know best fighting game streamer they put in. There. Yeah. Um. So. I'm gonna be like best retro game streamers, best retro game like streamers or group, and then I'm like, yes, yo, video games for that shit. Yeah. So that's something I think we should do. That's that's a that's a category I could get behind. Awesome. Yeah, Djibouti Dubs, they play a lot of retro games too. Oh yeah, I want yeah. Djibouti Dubs nominated. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're they're definitely, they definitely. Djibouti Dubs are awesome. That'll be a great category. Mm hmm. They play a lot of stuff. Because so uh, uh, a lot of the retro game streamers, they, they speedrun. Like, a lot of those guys do that. Well, it's speedrun, and it's like one, like, there's like a few that are the like... speedrunners are different categories. Yeah, it's a completely yeah, different category. Yeah, speedrunners are different categories, exactly. So that's why you have speedrunners, and then the retro. These guys, you know, got all these uh, retro stuff. Wooly versus, yeah. No, those guys, yeah, he definitely um, uh, does a lot of retro games. But yeah, it's like, it's, it's the same reason why you don't have 30 million different categories for, like, sub-genres and stuff, or, like, game awards. It's just like, you know, a uh, little strategy RPG, a turn-based RPG, real-time RPG, Western RPG. Best RPG, period. It's just RPG, and they're all fucking in there. There's already a lot of categories. Yeah, for the yeah. I don't know. I don't have a hater chat, I'm just saying. Live and let die. And one thing I will, I, 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 as much as I call like Smash, most Smash players stinky 
and Smelly, I, I'm mighty jealous of how passionate they are and how, like, they keep playing these old games. I wish more communities could do that. Like, I guess one of the next best ones is like Skullgirls and then Marvel 2. Marvel 3 is probably the best one. Marvel 3 is healthy. Oh yeah, well, it's healthy because we have a, there's an amazing modding scene. Yeah. And also, people still like, I never really love that game. Oh yeah. Like, you'll get a couple thousand people watching Tampa Dead Sweeps and their weekly Marvel version. Oh, yeah. It's big. I'm stuck in the fire right now. Coming right into my buttons. That's the Mortal Kombat fan in me, me talking to you. I damn right, bro. I always fucking Mortal Kombat fans would sit together and fucking still play 9. And they know they want to play it. You complain so much about the new game. Right? It's like, hey, how about 9? But you know what? 9 is fucking difficult to play because goddamn. NRS, why am I doing kick sometimes? I'm getting kicked. Let me uh, lock it. Okay, it's locked again. Uh, wait. Oh, no wonder. I'm actually hitting four sometimes. This is the guy that the R cut the buttons. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You know? I, that's, that's one of my wishes. I mean, like, goddamn, I wish. There are more communities, like the Smash communities. I thank you. Uh, how they were passionate about their game. Mm. Ah, yeah. He's like, okay, I like the hot dude, but I'm still throwing you. Is more toxic. Well, the, the bigger the community, the the bigger the chance you get uh, yeah. toxic. Toxicity comes with fame. Yes. That's that's a thing. That's why MK community, is, you know. But the thing is, uh, you know, here's the thing. It's, it's happening right now with Tekken. Oh yeah. Tekken's popping up with casual. Is the three spicy? Oh, okay. Oh, I can actively feel the spice kick in the back of my throat. Mm -hmm. It is the spicy one. Oh, it's the spicy one. one. The base is the spicy one. Mm -hmm. I, I, I will say this. Whoops, I got Rolento. There is. Close enough. Yeah, Steve. There's a bunch of chicken cutlets down there. Can you get chicken? Yeah. I'll show you. Yeah. yeah. Like, the MK community is toxic online, but you go to an event, they're not so toxic. Yeah, no, no, no. In person, it's fine. In person, it's fine. For Smash, I think it's a little bit of both. It's toxic in there and online. You go to events, people have to drive, they go to stage, Yeah. They only mouth you when, when they can be anonymous and not at the pain. Yes. And don't have to leave their world. Oh, yes. But guess what? That's not the community. But they think they get they get added in the community. You know, you go to the tournament and you're like, oh, I look like watch. Motherfucker, you would get fucking destroyed if you were in the tournament. There you sitting at home talking shit, doing nothing. You ain't shit. You ain't been to a fucking goddamn major, minor, um local. You're just some loud fucking nerd. And those guys are not in the community. But then you go to like Evo and then you start meeting the MK community. They're cool peoples, man. You know, people like Ketchup Mustard, Katana Prime. You know, Aquaman. Fantastic people. It's just the guys online, you know, like commenting during tournaments and shit. God damn, I love her. She's great in this game. Oh, Better in one. Yeah, but she's great in game. Yeah. Smash got toxic on his, you know, online and in person.
got the next though. All right. Yeah, I gotta go. You can go next anyway, so I gotta go to the Banyo. That's right, I still got run. I picked my accident. I don't even know how to use this guy. Good to, uh, Pierce. Hundred percent double KO. Yeah. I've been sick though. Guys, level two. That's why. Uh, the only possible. Well, well you're sitting on level three. No, no, level two. He was level two. I was level one. Level three. No, no. I mean, you're you're level three super. No, no. But we're not talking about that. Oh, okay. we're talking about the character level three. That's why I didn't get damage. He's got a very good hot seat. Oh, yeah. Loosey goosey seat. In the hot seat. Literal hot seat. I think he just parted candy all over it. The roster's so great. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed with the Capcom side of this roster. It's, but it's practically Street Fighter versus Capcom, Capcom versus Street Fighter. Mm. Yeah. This is the most popular characters, man. Street Fighter versus Capcom. Even, like even today. Morgan and like Ryosuke, that's kind of it. Yeah, even today, Capcom's most popular characters are just Street Fighter. Nah, I mean, you got all that, all that Resident Evil, Monster Hunter, you got, uh, fuck, uh, Dome Cry. They got, they got stuff now. Bro, when somebody says Capcom, first thing that comes to your mind is either Mega Man or Street Fighter. I agree, they should put more um, Rival Schools, um, Power Stone. <laughs> yeah, they okay, argue, arguably, Resident Evil, Resident Evil and Monster Hunter are absolutely more popular. Like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, yeah you, you go like sales, man. You know, oh, yes, but, yes. but 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 when it comes to recognizable uh, recognizability, yeah, it's Mega Man and Street Fighter for sure. I don't even no, know. I don't know how recognizable Mega Man even is. Fucking uh, well, yeah. Um, right who's in the fucking logo ninety percent of the time. Ah. No Onimusha, yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be a match to remember. Fight! Oh, I want to do that. That's hard for that crossing. Nice. Oh my god. Really? Wow. Uh, yeah. Beautiful Joe to make a comeback. I, so I never played a single She's Beautiful Joe game. game dude. Wasn't that like Bojack's favorite game or something? Beautiful Joe? Uh -huh. Yeah. Like Thero Bojack, they uh, love that game. Love that game for some reason. I kind of never bring that back. They could. It's their own IP. You have to worry about copyright bullshit. Oh, 
Green Rock Terry. Spray in. The Game Boy really helped Mega Man. There was a lot of games, uh, Mega Man games for Game Boy. I missed out on a lot of Mega Man just because of the fact that they were Game Boy and Game Boy Advance exclusive. Game Boy Advance kept Mega Man alive for a long time. That was it. And now he's dead. Yeah, Mega Man's one of those kind of like, unfortunately, like, nobody, nobody knows who Mega Man is, but us boomers at this point. Like, oh, I see. Well, what about all that, that Battle Network shit? That's all. Yeah, that's like 20 years old now. Yeah. But I meant, like, as far as, like, keeping the, the franchise alive. Yeah, all that years ago. Yeah, all that. Mega Man Battle Network stuff was like the stuff that kept it fucking going. It was going. big. It was big. They just re released those and they did incredibly well. Really? Yeah. There you but go. again, those are 20 year old games. I don't know. I'm still making money off them. Mm. The Blue Bomber. Nice. That was sick. Yeah, you, you just anyone like under the like under the age of twenty has no idea what Mega Man is. Not really. They Not know really. Smash Bros. Ripley knows. They know no, from Smash Bros. Bros. You gotta make sure, sure she does. Yeah, just like their dad is like a big old Mega Man fan, like introducing him. Oh my god. They're not they're not playing. I'm not playing Mega Man, I have no idea who he is. I mean, that's up to Capcom to just re release a, a, or make a new Mega Man game, you know? They did. I mean, the last they one. They sold well. They did. They did really say. good, and they're idiots. Uh -huh. they just, all right, that's good. It sold well. Great. Let's go. Go on, Mega Man. It was almost like they did it to prove that they could still that do they, it. They could still do it, yeah. and then that was it. Oh, oh. It seems like they're afraid to make a bad one. Are you excited for the new Marvel game, Steve? Um. Yeah. Marvel 1984 or whatever? No, um, ah. Marvel Overwatch. Rivals. A Marvel Rivals. Ah, never heard of it. It's a Marvel Overwatch one. It was announced a couple days ago. Yeah, oh, wow. It's Overwatch, but Marvel. Of, everyone's Marvel. Oh, cool. They're just Overwatch. Fudge. Sounds like something I'll be playing for about a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll give it to Steve. Steve will try it. So, let me some more. And you'll love it. It'll be a week and you'll love it. It'll be a week and I'll enjoy it that one week. Oh, uh, you pushed that to me. You did make a reset. Oh, no. Oh, no. Roshio Ma. Let's go to a beach. Uh, what, what company make it? Uh, that is or Chinese, Chinese company. Oh wow! Good luck. Definitely <laughs> like. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Like all right. Yo. We shall see. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a try. You know. Yeah. Knock it till you try it. Yeah. I'm not allowed to like it. Or else it'll just get cancelled, so... No, no, yeah, you no, better no. not say shit. Yeah, I better not say anything. I'll you just don't like it, Steve. Yeah, shit. not allowed to. So, Simmons, uh, with the passing of Toriyama, um, what is the? What do you think the future of um, Chrono Trigger? Because now that the right... Like, he, he was adamant about not touching that, but now... You know, I don't know. Uh, it's not him personally who owned it. Right? Yeah, I get that. I get that. But he was holding the like the rights to the to the likeness of the character. No, no, no. The company that he uh, that owns his characters was doing that. Oh. Uh, play is, this guy. Which is like you know, you Square? Chat? No, no, it wasn't no. Square. You know, Chat will tell you. Like some big giant. And Japanese anime manga company like owns it, owns a lot of Toei? his works are. I don't think it's Toei, it's something else. This is a Bird, Toei. Studio. Bird Studio. No. Bird. 
Shueisha. Shueisha, thank you. Mass. Got it. Yeah, Simmons and his encyclopedia brain. Oh, yeah, bro. Shueisha. That sounds like a very old company. Oh. Shueisha sounds like a girl I did in high school. They are oh, Damn it. She's an asset publishing. You are not fucking with them. Damn. So why hold the rights to a, to an IP that they're never gonna use? Sort of like Kanata. That, just well done. Yeah, that. It's also a, it's Toriyama. You're like you're right. You're gonna use their Golden Child stuff. I mean, why not make money? What the fuck? I thought the purpose of having a company is to make money. Uh, Japan doesn't think that way. If you're also not thinking about the fact that like yeah, to make money, they don't want enough of it. They're not giving me enough. Oh, I see. If they, if somebody if somebody buys IP, it, it won't be enough. I get you. Well, there's a fan made one that's being made. It looks really good. As long as they, as long as they get hit with a cease and desist. What? You were close enough to the ground. I want to recount. So next, uh -huh. that's not how businesses work. Yeah, business is not right for trying to make money. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I can understand them being strict with their IPs, just like Konami. Just like Konami. Konami just does it for no sense. Yeah, I'll say the same thing as Shoisha. My ex girlfriend? They're also a major asshole. Uh, I have no idea. They're about big them. assholes. Really? They're, they're notorious assholes. Like, going after people using any rights is the reason. Like, why kind of square just hovered away from it? Really? The only, yeah, like, the only things they do is just direct ports of the old game. Uh -huh. or, like, mobile ports of the old game, which is what they released. So, the, well, the thing is, like, the reality is, it's a known game that Toriyama obviously has a big part of and has, like, a lot of love in yeah. it, right? So, his, his death could actually change something maybe down the line? Yeah. Maybe? It's hard to say, though. Because it depends on how much influence he had on the game. Well, I mean, he had a ton. Yeah. It's not even influence, it's just the fact that it's his character design. It's their art. It's their art. Yeah. Damn, I got a Kiyosuke. Okay. I used to call him Kiyosuke. They go after YouTubers with strikes and stuff all the time. Yeah. Sounds like Nintendo. Hey, oh! Burp, burp, burp. They tried to shut down Fighter Z tournaments in the past. Yes. Jeez. Yes. Because they own Toriyama shit. Yeah. That's kind of. That's sad. sad. They, they bad. They not good. <laughs> they bad, not good. What the fuck? Yeah, who was the first company to do that? I think it was Nintendo, man. This is random going after random tournaments. Like, nah, I don't like that. Well, Nintendo could not have, like... We just saw People how positive the fan base was and what the fuck was going on. They're like, hell no. Ah! We don't want any ah! weirdos. But they were doing that for a while, though. I think it was before the Toxic stuff. It was stuff. a little bit before, but then yeah. the Toxic stuff just didn't help. Oh, no, absolutely not. But no, they were... They were yanking fools left and right. Holy nipples! Yo, I'm so sad he was one of the worst characters in the game. Look at we have air combos. Yeah, like... They tried to give him sauce, but like, it unfortunately didn't translate into like, a viable character. No, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it always comes down to buttons. What, like, what More characters buttons, buttons have? Yeah, Street Fighter, Fighter especially. Yeah. yeah. What, how good are their normals? What are they good at? Like, yeah. how? His normals fucking suck. Terrible. Normal. Terrible. terrible. He'll get beat out by everything. Yep. So that's what makes a character good at the yeah, end of the day, no matter, the long no matter how cool their air combos is. Oh, and damage, too. This guy has no damage. This combo do not do anything. Same thing with, uh, Yun. Yeah, Yun's bad in this game. Oh, he's horrible. I'd say him and... I mean, aside from Dan. Uh, oh! Yes. 
be a six, we'll run everything at six. <laughs> no, people will always be wanting more and more and more and more. I want more fidelity, I want more resolution, I want more this. I want everything to like, oh my. You want to clog the game as hard as you can. Try to pair right there. I was like, oh, you almost got it. So it's just four, but the timing on this one's way different from oh, third. Oh, dude, parry catch right? timing in this is, yeah. is like half the space. Space, yeah, yeah. Like, they want it to be very. Groove is like the challenge mode. Shit.